Hey everybody, welcome back to PT Pioneer and in today's video we're going to do an in-depth review of the ISSA Personal Trainer Certification. We're going to take a look at all the details included in this certification and determine is it worth it. By the end of this video, you'll know whether or not this certification is right for you. Stick to the end of this video and I'll give you my overall rating out of five stars. And as always guys, don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. This definitely helps us out a lot. Don't forget to check out Trainer Academy for any additional resources in terms of study guides, flashcards, and any additional practice materials you would need for studying for a certification. Want to learn more about PT Pioneer? Do a quick search about us to see what people are saying. Also from here, you can find our certification quiz that will help you find the fitness certification that is right for you. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, first off, let's take a look at some of the pros and cons for the ISSA Personal Trainer Certification. Let's start off with the pros. To start, the ISSA Personal Trainer Certification goes in-depth with the business aspect of personal training. So in addition to the certification itself, it covers a wide variety of skills that would be necessary for a personal trainer. Another great aspect of the ISSA CPT is that you can take it anywhere in the world. This is probably one of the most international personal trainer certifications you can find. Another thing to note is that with the testing criteria itself and the retesting criteria, it's very flexible and it's also a lot more relaxed in comparison to other certifications. Lastly, it also has a very in-depth study guide and resources that are readily available for you to study and prepare for the exam. In a previous video where we covered some of the commonly asked questions, we covered a lot of the details in regards to what's included in the exam and what you can find in the textbook itself. Now let's move into some of the cons. Now the first point that I have for this examination and the certification is that it's open book when you take the exam. This is both a good and a bad thing, so ISSA does not require you to memorize a lot of the information when you do the certification exam. Lastly, there is no practical experience to this course. Everything is done again virtually and online. Now let's take a look at some of the general information you can find on the personal trainer certification. As I mentioned before, everything is done completely online. You won't have to go into a physical space to take the examination, nor will you have to take any physical spaces or classes for this exam. This is one of the few certifications that can be studied outside of the US. So again, this is one of the more recognized certifications internationally. There are a lot of personal trainers that are certified with the ISSA CPT located in places such as Brazil, Australia, and Zimbabwe. So there's a lot of individuals internationally that are getting access to this certification. Despite the international access to it, it does not take away from the international credibility of the certification. Now, out of all of the certifications you can find in the industry, this is definitely one of the more recognizable and recommended certifications you can find. This is constantly ranked as one of the best PT certifications you can find, in addition to certifications like the NASM. As I mentioned before, it goes into in-depth detail with all of the information necessary for a personal trainer, as well as taking a well-rounded approach. What are some of the common things you would need to know in terms of operating as a business owner or someone that's running a personal training business? It covers both sides of this, so it's definitely a well-rounded certification. So this does include a very lenient retest policy. So in comparison to other certifications, you can take the retest for free if you fail the first time around. Also, after registering for the examination, you also have two years until you would need to take the final exam. Lastly, the last two units of this certification also covers training specialized groups. This could be including children, or elderly adults, or people with special needs. This includes chronic conditions or disabilities. The units also cover basic information on nutrition. So in addition to the nutrition certification you can get through one of the packages, this covers a very general springboard based information. So if you would want to progress into the nutrition certification itself, there's a lot of great information just to start. Next up, let's take a look at some of the special packages that ISSA provides for this specific certification. There are two special packages that they also offer. 
The first is the Elite Trainer Package, which is a three-in-one certification package you can purchase. This includes the Personal Trainer Certification, the Nutritionist Certification, and any one of the three following certifications you can see over here. So as you can see, there's a lot of variety in which you can take your certification knowledge in regards to what certifications you want to add in, in this elite trainer package. Some of these include the strength and conditioning certification if you want to start training more elite level athletes, or if you want to take a more nutrition based approach, there is a sports nutrition certification as well. Now the second package is the master trainer package. This includes the previously mentioned certifications with the CPT and the nutrition certification, but it includes four additional certifications, including the ones that were previously mentioned over here. Keep in mind, this is going to cost a little bit more money, but overall, the knowledge base that you can attain through it is very immense. Now, the other part of this review is going to be covering the certification cost. Keep in mind, at the time of this recording, these prices are subject to change over time from the ISSA certification packages that they currently have. First off is the personal trainer certification package. This is the personal training certification only, and this costs about $699. The next level above that is the certified personal trainer and the nutrition certification, this is going to run you $7.99. The next level above that is the elite trainer certification, and this will run you $15.98. Lastly, at the very top, we have the master trainer package, and this is going to run you $29.97. So again, these are the prices at the time of this recording. Be sure to check out the ISSA packages on their website to see if there are any changes to the pricing or if there are any additional discounts. Next up, let's take a look at some of the study materials that they also offer. In the training packages that they include, they also include materials such as an ebook and the physical copy of the textbooks. So overall, I would definitely recommend checking out their study materials on their website when they offer these specific packages. Another thing to note is that the textbook itself has a more conversational feel in addition to the in-depth breakdown of the science behind different training protocols and other information you need for a certification. This definitely helps with gathering and learning the information much easier. If you guys want to find more information on this, we did a video covering the ISSA CPT exam breakdown. So you can check out this video through the link over in the description below or by clicking on this card up here. Lastly, don't forget that Trainer Academy also includes ISSA study guides and materials, and they also offer an exam pass guarantee. So definitely go ahead and check them out. Check out the MVP package that they offer as well. They will have a lot of great resources for preparing for the ISSA examination. Now let's take a look at business and career support. ISSA includes a physical fitness textbook that is also included with the overall training package. This will help you with guiding you through the processes of setting up as a business, what are the things that you would need to know in terms of marketing, and establishing yourself as a fitness professional in the industry. This covers a lot of information for setting up as a business and maximizing your income. However, some of the marketing-based materials are a bit outdated, so do keep that in mind. You will need to look at some additional resources for some things like digital marketing and social media, how you would be able to incorporate that into your own business. On top of that, the ISSA portal also includes some information on the following topics, general business, creating your website, fitness business tips, things like how to interview, personal health coverage, what is the medical fitness network that you can establish, and what is professional liability insurance. Now, once you've been certified, you'll be given access to the ISSA professional division. This includes resources such as creating business cards, how to establish a website. There's a lot of information that is included with this once you get your certification. Lastly, the US military also offers the free registration for the ISSA program for those of you that are 
veterans and are looking to transition from military training over to a commercial fitness business. Another aspect of ISSA is that they also include ISSA first aid. Keep in mind that having a CPR and AAD certification is very crucial to the job itself. ISSA requires you to submit any updated CPR AAD certificates. And if you don't have these, you can access a course through ISSA through their online portal for their first aid training. Next up, let's take a look at some of the accreditation. The first thing to note is that ISSA is not accredited by the NCCA. However, they are accredited by the Distance Education Accrediting Commission. Now, what is the difference between these two, you might ask? Not a lot, but the NCCA is definitely more industry recognized. Despite this, over the last couple of years, both of these have been recognized as major accrediting sources. So the ISSA certification is also one of the more recognized certifications you can get within the industry. Now moving on into the registration and exam criteria. In a previous video I mentioned this before but you do need to be at least 18 years of age, have a high school degree or something equivalent in addition to having an CPR AD certification or are working towards getting that. To start you do need to have a basic understanding of nutrition, basic fitness, and any additional information for a general fitness knowledge. So now that we've covered all of this information, let's take a look at some of the highlights. ISSA has one of the best package deals that you can find within the industry for getting multiple certifications at once. Keeping in mind the certification standards within the industry, ISSA is also well recognized within the US and Canada for most gyms. This is also a 100% online certification. So no matter where you are in the world, you can register and take the examination to earn this certification. Overall, this is one of the better certifications you can get if you do not have a college degree. However, if you are in college right now and you're working towards a degree or if you have a degree within the fitness industry, I would definitely recommend looking at other certifications like the CSCS. Overall, this certification I would give five stars. This is definitely one of the certifications that you want to consider getting when you start out in the fitness industry. Don't forget to smash the like button. It definitely helps the channel out. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And on top of that, make sure to check out any additional videos that we have over here in regards to how to become a certified personal trainer or a fitness professional. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Good luck studying and we'll see you guys in the next video.